वेलकम बैक टू मटीरियल कॉन्सेप्चुअल स्टडी इन आवर ऑन गोइंग ही ट्रीटमेंट लेक्चर सीरीज टूडे वी कंटिन्यू आवर एक्सप्लोरेशन ऑफ द आयरन कार्बन फेस डायग्राम इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वो डिस्कस्ड फेराइड ऑस्टोनाइट एंड डेल्टा फेजिस नाउ इन आवर सेकेंड लेक्चर वो विल टेल इन टू द सीमेंटाइट अलाइट एंड लडोबराइट फेजिस लेट्स बिगिन विद द सीमेंटाइट फेज सीमेंटाइट इज एन स्टिशोमेट्रिक इंटरमेटालिक कंपाउंड दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ आयरन एंड कार्बन आइटम्स स्टिशोमेट्रिक इंटरमेटालिक कंपाउंड्स आर केमिकल कंपाउंड्स दैट यूजली कंटेन टू और मोर मेटालिक एलिमेंट्स दीज कंपाउंड्स हैव स्पेसिफिक स्टिशोमेट्रिक रेशियोज मीनिंग द एलिमेंट्स कंबाइन इन प्रिसाइज प्रोपोर्शंस दैट इज व्हाई द इंटरमेटालिक कंपाउंड्स आर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अ वर्टिकल लाइन ऑन द फेस डायग्राम वेयर द कंपोजिशन इज फिक्स्ड This cementite phase consists of iron and carbon atoms in a fixed ratio of 6.67 ratio 1 which means that cementite is formed at 6.67 weight percent of carbon its crystallographic unit cell is orthorhombic and primitive with large lattice parameters explaining its hardness in this type of crystal structure the lattice consists of three axes that are perpendicular to each other and unequal in length this phase is an incredibly hard and brittle phase its hardness makes it one of the primary components responsible for the hardness of steel in fact cementite is one of the hardest constituents in steel alloys in the iron carbon phase diagram the cementite phase is formed through four different reactions each occurring at different compositions let's explore each of these reactions one by one The cementite phase can be formed through liquid to solid state transformation. For example, when the iron carbon liquid alloy of hyper eutectic composition solidifies, cementite forms as primary particles in the remaining liquid. As the solidification process continues, the liquid solidifies into austenite or ferrite, depending on the cooling rate and alloy composition. This type of transformation is known as liquid to solid state transformation similarly cementite can also be formed through solid to solid state transformations where one solid phase transforms into another without involving any liquid phase let's consider the example of hyper eutectoid steel with a carbon content above the eutectoid composition when this hyper eutectoid steel is cooled from the austenitic region the excess carbon will diffuse and combine with the existing austenite as a result cementite nectars form creating interconnected structures within the remaining austenite matrix this cementite network significantly influences the steel strength and wear resistance the cementite phase can also be formed by the eutectoid reaction a eutectoid reaction is a type of phase transformation that involves three phases during this reaction as a solid material undergoes cooling it simultaneously transforms into two distinct solid phases in the iron carbon phase diagram the eutectoid reaction results in the formation of perlite phase from the austenite phase this perlite phase consists of alternating layers of ferrite and cementite that give perlite its distinctive labular or pearly appearance when observed under the microscope this microstructure contributes to the mechanical properties of the steel such as its strength and hardness The eutectoid reaction is also an invariant reaction which occurs at constant temperature and composition. Its reaction mechanism will also be discussed in this lecture series. The formation of the cementite phase can also occur through a process known as eutectic reaction. In a eutectic reaction, a liquid solution undergoes a simultaneous transformation into two solid phases as it cools down. This phenomena is characterized by its invariance which means it happens at a constant temperature and constant composition in the iron carbon phase diagram this eutectic reaction results in the formation of the ladiburide phase which is a eutectic mixture of austenite and cementite so in this eutectic reaction the liquid phase with 4.3% of carbon at a fixed temperature of 1147 degree centigrade gives two solid phases that is austenite and cementite upon cooling its mechanism will be discussed in upcoming lecture the ladiburide phase can appear with any composition between 2.06% to 6.67% of carbon this phase is characterized by its distinctive appearance under the microscope showing regions of dark cementite embedded in a matrix of bright austenite it is a brittle phase typically undesirable in most applications due to its 
poor mechanical properties. If you find this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting content on metallurgy and materials engineering. If you have any questions or topics you had like to cover us, please leave them in comments below and thank you for watching. See you next time.